Findlay Movement is committed to helping people getting fitter, faster, and stronger. To do that, though, they need employees and not just any fitness professional. They want the top talent and talent that will stay. Well, it's quality control. If you have a constant revolving door with new faces, then honestly, the members or the clients that are here for much longer have to constantly adapt to working with someone new. Sarah Herringer, co-owner of Finley Movement, said they have had problems keeping talent in the past. And that's because the business model for the fitness industry doesn't always favor the employees and their hard work. They usually get paid per class or per session with a client and they have no paid time off or benefits. Because they have to think of at the end of the day, can I afford my rent? Um, am I able to purchase things? Uh, am I able to do savings for retirement? What does my long-term future look like? Sarah realizes post-pandemic and in a time of inflation, her business will only thrive as well as it runs. So she changed up the business model. She offers her coaches profit sharing and performance-based pay. In other words, they get a piece of the pie when they bring a client into the gym and retain them, and a piece of the profits of the gym's success. She also offers them paid time off and money for future education and programs to invest in themselves. So the, the old sayings of suck it up, work, this is how it is, work hard, it'll pay off in the end, that's just like not what people are living by anymore. Employees don't see the value of that. Employees aren't getting ahead like they used to. Audrey Treasure gives employers fresh eyes when it comes to recruiting and retaining employees. And she says three things employees are looking for are pay, benefits, and flexible schedules. And there's a sense sometimes from employers that people don't want to work. The truth is lots of people do want to work. And they want to work at a place that values them and appreciates them. You know, there's almost two job openings for every person looking for work right now. Walt Tracy of At Work Personnel, an Ohio staffing agency, says 75% of the workforce will get a call from a recruiter. And even if someone isn't actively looking for a new job, they will take the call. And that's another reason employers need to step it up. You know, they say the true cost of turning over a position is in the $10,000 range. By the time you think about even like lost productivity, uh, people having to work overtime. An investment in employees and some changes to make them stay can mean a big payoff in a place like Finley Movement, whose owner wants to stand out in quality and consistency over the dozens of gyms in the area. If someone can stick around, they have the opportunity to become an expert in their industry yeah. and provide value for the business and also for the client. Here's what I also found. Employers are willing to make changes. Audrey, who we just heard from, she consulted with a manufacturing company in Westchester. Employees said they didn't feel leadership listened to them, so they implemented various things over the next year to make that better. And now their retention rate went from 60 to 90 percent. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.